What up with you, YouTube and YouTubers? It's your boy Triple Cup Chuck, and I'm up. And I want to um, bring a little quick discussion up about why Star Wars Battlefront was not on the Sony press conference stage. I was sitting up there thinking, like, you know, they their conference was pretty okay, but you know, what I'm saying they had some games that they could have showed on their stage, but they didn't show. And one of the games that really caught my attention was that Star Wars Battlefront. And I was like, why? If Sony had the marketing rights for Star Wars Battlefront, why wouldn't they sh showcase it on their stage? Because it's a beautiful game. Everybody loves Star Wars. And why EA had such a big press conference towards Star Wars. Because, I mean, everybody must admit, EA press conference was 75% about Star Wars. Nothing else. Just strictly Star Wars. And how they just made sure they bow guarded and made sure that everybody knew that about Star Wars on the... EA press conference stage and they kind of like talked about you know what I'm saying what they was gonna do with the game on every aspect they didn't do no beating around the bush gave no room for nothing else like how they did the, um the game anthem they kind of like they said look we got this amazing game that's coming out anthem we're gonna show it on a Microsoft stage but with the marketing rights with the Star Wars Battlefront they did not say nothing about PlayStation about this game and then when they did mention anything about consoles they always said PlayStation and Xbox they never just said PlayStation now look these are my thoughts behind why they did that now EA what I was thinking was kind of like burnt and pissed off and mad about the situation of with the of the whole Star Wars thing because everybody know about the uh, the spider-man game is a sony exclusive now let me go dive a little bit deep into why i just said that out the blue all right playstation and disney is very cool with each other they have some type of alliance going on now what happened was marvel wanted spider-man to be in the avengers movies and stuff like that but sony have the uh, the rights for the movie for the spider-man the movie spider-man not the games or nothing like that none of the comics just the movie rights so they had to make a deal with disney for marvel so they could be able to get spider-man and put them on the um, the marvel movies so within this deal what i was conjuring and thinking about was what they what they did was okay they made like a you no know saying not just a money exchange you know what i'm saying they made uh, pretty much a, a gentleman exchange with a handshake type thing you know that's what i call it is when you have like multiple things going on at one time so as in the spider-man game i mean the spider-man movie is being able to be done by marvel under that circumstances sony still get paid for the movie of spider-man coming out so you know what I'm saying they still they win on that expect but what uh, sony wanted on top of that was okay look we want the rights to having a a spider-man game strictly for the playstation 4 so marvel was able to you know saying work out a little deal with them now by them having a deal with them with them about that sony went over ea head and went to disney for star wars battlefront for the marketing rights so that really put ea in a bind because they might have didn't want that deal or might have been looking for like a different type of deal or uh, type any type of situation that could have went on but you know what I'm saying by they went over them over ea head and went straight to disney they got only they only limited to certain things like you know what I'm saying with the marketing rights of saying okay we get this game or whatever we you know what I'm saying put their logo at the end of this game or whatever so what ea was like well if y'all want to do it like that because of uh you know ea access and sony denied ea access they were not able to get the games five days ahead so when they last did they did with star wars microsoft was still able to boss to say we get star wars first even though sony paid all these millions of dollars to have uh, star wars to say you know what I'm saying with the marketing rights but you know xbox was able to get more most of just because of the five days early so what sony probably had did was like okay went over ea head ea was mad about sony doing that so ea came back and said look we showing star wars on our stage y'all don't have the marketing rights to show it on y'all on y'all stage and we not cool um, enough of, you know, about this you know saying straight situation well we'll have our game on y'all stage so what they did was EA made sure that they played Star Wars to death on their stage. They made sure that, look, y'all would not have nothing to show on y'all stage. We're not giving y'all no footage because that's not in the contract because the contract is through, uh, through Disney. And by being through Disney, they didn't have no say so about being on the stage and stuff like that. That's pretty much with the game and the developers and, and with EA with that. So EA probably did not allow Sony to show it on their stage because 
because excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Because of, uh, EA probably wanted to show this game it is best ability and the, the the best quality you could ever get. That's why they showed it on the powerful PC. There was not no PlayStation footage we seen. There was not no Xbox Scorpio footage we seen. That was a powerful PC. But if they had to show it on the console, my guess. It wasn't about who sold the most. It was about who could show it the best. So they probably would have wanted to show it on the Xbox Scorpio, but because of the deal, they wasn't able to do that. So they was kind of pissed off about the situation. So now um, EA took the whole thing and just played it on their stage. That was my thoughts about, um, you know what I'm saying, why Sony wasn't able to show the um, the Star Wars Battlefront. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I know they got a lot of different um, conspiracies out there why Sony did not show the uh battlefront on a stage i would like for everybody to leave a comment and give me your opinions and why and conspiracies why you think they didn't do that well you know what i'm saying this was your boy triple cup chuck and i'm out and remember i don't do this for me i do this for we so like subscribe and holler at your boy and don't forget to choke that like button to it turn blue i'm out